Um, in this video, I'm going to introduce the rational root theorem for polynomials. We are going to introduce it by uh, first looking at uh, this uh, polynomial example. So imagine our polynomial is uh, x minus 2 times x plus 3 times x minus 4. So um, what we're going to do first, we're going to expand this and uh, see what the polynomial uh, looks like if we expand. So uh, when we do that, um, uh, this is uh, what we are going to get. So I'm just going to multiply the last two uh, brackets first. Um, so if we multiply that, uh, x times x is going to give us x squared. Uh, x times negative 4 is going to give us uh, minus 4x. Uh, x times 3 is going to give us plus 3x. And then 3 times negative 4 is going to give us negative 12. Then if we simplify, collect terms here. So this is going to give us x squared minus x minus 12. Then we are going to multiply uh, this binomial into this trinomial. x times x squared is going to give us x cubed. Uh, x times negative x is going to give us negative x squared. x times negative 12 is going to give us negative 12x. Then negative 2 times x going to give us negative 2x squared. I'm going to write that one under the x squared that we already have. Negative 2 times negative x is going to give us plus 2x and uh, negative 2 times negative 12 is going to give us uh, 24. Okay, then uh, if we just add uh, like terms so that's going to be x cubed there. This one is going to give us minus 3x squared. And this is going to give us minus 10x. And this is going to give us plus 24. Okay. Um, so this is saying that uh, this polynomial x cubed Mm, minus 3x squared minus 10x plus 24 um, if you factorize this okay so if you factorize this um, then you are going to get the uh, expression that or the form of it that we started with is going to give us x minus 2, x plus 3 uh, times x minus 4. Okay, so these two are the same. But of course, we know um, uh, that um, if we have the polynomial in the factorized form, so these are the factors then if we wanted the roots of the polynomial then it becomes easier than if we have it in this form so going this way is factorizing of course going the other way is expanding as we as we just uh, did now expanding is uh, easier than factorizing so the rational root theorem is going to help us to achieve uh, this one here, the factorizing. Now, um, so from here, we can see that uh, x plus 2, x plus 3, and x minus 4 are the factors, okay, of the polynomial. Now, and then once we've got the factors, if we take each one of them, and equate to zero and solve, then that gives us the roots. So this one, uh, x plus three equal to zero, 
tells us that x is negative 3. Uh, x minus 4 equal to 0 tells us that x is equal to 4. So these ones are the roots or the zeros of the polynomial, the roots or the zeros of the polynomial. Now, um, our interest, okay, which is going to lead us to the <clears throat> rational root theorem is how do these relate to the numbers we have here in the expanded version of the polynomial. And the way they fit in is that 24 is actually a product of all these ones. Or if you like, the roots, all of the roots are factors of the constant term here. So these roots here, uh, they are factors of the uh, constant term. So all the roots, these are the roots, uh, and these roots are factors of the constant term of the polynomial in expanded form. What do we mean? 24 we can write as 2 times 3 times 4. Okay, so the roots are the factors of the constant term. So if we, if given um, this polynomial here, uh, if we can find the factors of the constant term, then that's going to take us um, uh, a long way towards finding the, the factors of the polynomial. So, okay, so with that in mind, uh, let's uh, uh, give a statement of what the rational root theorem states. All right, um, so the rational root theorem states that uh, if P over Q is a rational root of the polynomial uh, a n x to the power n plus a n minus 1, x to the power n minus 1 uh, and so on and so forth plus a 1 x plus a naught then p is a factor of a naught a naught is the constant here okay and then so that is uh, the observation that we made here that all the roots are factors of the constant so 3, uh, 4, minus 3, and minus 2 are all factors of 24. So P, which is the numerator of our root, is always going to be a factor of the constant. And then the denominator Q is going to be a factor of AN. AN is the coefficient of the leading uh, term. So the leading term of our polynomial is the term which has got the highest power of x. So what this uh, theorem is saying is that given any polynomial, the rational roots are only depending on the leading term and the constant term. Okay, so the always going to be the factor of the uh, constant will be in the numerator. The factor of the leading uh, term will be in the denominator. So let's uh, put that in writing here. So what the um, rational root theorem is saying is that uh, possible rational roots Okay, so I'm just going to skip the rational here for a moment. Just saying possible roots 
are always going to be of the form p over q where p is going to be always a factor of the constant and q is always going to be a factor of the uh, coefficient of the leading order term so coefficient of uh, leading uh, these are factors of uh, factors of a leading term coefficient okay so that's what the rational root uh, theorem is saying uh, let's see how this applies uh, in uh, uh, an example so suppose we want to list uh, all possible rational roots um, of uh, so let's start with uh, a polynomial p of x equal to x cubed minus 3x squared plus 4 so what are going to be the possible rational roots for this polynomial so well the possible roots are going to be of the form p over q where p are going to be the factors of the constant constant here is 4 then q are going to be factors the coefficient of the leading order term which is coefficient is 1 so it's just going to be factors of 1 here so then we list all the factors of 4 it's going to be plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 plus or minus 4 factors of 1 just plus or minus 1 and then we do all possible divisions here well in this case because the denominator is just a plus or minus 1 if we do all possible divisions we're just going to have the set of numbers in the numerator so our roots are going to be plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 possible roots plus or minus 4 in the next video we're actually going to show how we can from this set of numbers use the rational root the remainder theorem and synthetic division to factorize that uh, third degree polynomial just one more example suppose in uh, part b uh, we have got uh, p of x is equals to 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 11 plus 6 so again we said the rational root theorem says the roots of this polynomial will just depend on the constant which is c and the coefficient of the leading term which is 2 so in this case um, in the numerator we're going to be looking for factors of the constant which is 6 in the denominator we're going to be looking for factors of the coefficient of the leading term which is 2 factors of 6 plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 plus or minus 3 and then plus or minus 6 factors of 2 are 1 and 2 then if we do all possible divisions okay uh, this is what is going to happen when you divide all these numbers by 1 you get the same set of numbers so 1 over 1 is going to be 1 2 over 1 is going to be 1 2 3 over 1 is 3 6 over 1 is 6 okay then next we divide by 2 1 over 2 is going to give us 1 half 
then um, 2 over 2 is 1 we already have 1 here 3 over 2 so that's going to give us plus or minus 3 over 2 6 over 2 is 3 which we already have here so this is going to give us the full set of uh, possible roots uh, rational roots of uh, uh, this polynomial here right so uh, as far as this video is going to is concerned we're going to stop it here then um, in the next video we are going to actually show how to develop this uh, to use the rational th root theorem with the remainder theorem and uh, synthetic division to factorize a third degree polynomial thank you for watching uh, we do hope uh, these videos are useful. Of course, uh, please do uh, subscribe and uh, if you've got any questions, we'd be happy to hear from you. You can post them in the comments section. Thank you.